and the Saints will line up with Wellens, fully recovered from a broken hand, incredibly. Then they go Gardner, back after illness, Gidley, Gilmore in the centres now, Melly, Price and Eastman. Forward pack, Graham, Cunningham the skipper, Pulatua, Flannery, Wilkin and Dixon. And the bench, Clough, Ashurst, Armstrong and Emmett. And the coach is Mick Potter. Wigan, unchanged from the beating of Leeds last week. Phelps at fullback. Roberts, Gleason captaining the side again. Carmont, Richards, Tompkins and Luluai. Forwards, Coley, Riddell, Prescott, Tompkins, Hansen and Flanagan. And on the bench, it's Golding, Fielden, Paliasina and Mossop. And the coach is Brian Noble. Right, did he? Looked high on Prescott. That's a great kick. It is a great kick. St. Helens will begin this set of six deep in their own territory, but a great run from Eddie Gardner. Oh, went for the big hit, just didn't follow through with the shoulder. Went for the coconut, didn't he? It looked as though it was a bit high there, Keelan Cunningham. Certainly glanced off the top of the shoulder, that's for sure. Well, as expected, Brian Noble, the Wigan coach, obviously realising that Paul Wurns could be a weak link with that broken bone in his hand. They've really worked him over so far. Kick straight away directly to him. Well, they're all offside, the Wigan defenders. Referee, let's play go on. Here is Gidley. That's the last. It was like a dog's hind leg, the Wigan defensive line. Here now is Kyle Eastman. There's the high kick. Here's a tester for Cameron Phelps. Wellens is after this. Oh, it's dropped and it's not forward. Cunningham is leaning on the arm of Prescott and the referee, Ben Thaler, wasn't going to be fooled by that. Eastman now! Great run. You know, it really has come on a bundle, hasn't it? Kyle Eastman, not only just for his uh, starting when he gets a ball, but individual plays becoming more of a team player. That's a kick! And the ball bounces timely. And I think Matt Kidley's going to get the first try for St. Helens. He is. Beautiful little kick through here. Great work by Wellens. OK, they got the look of the green, didn't they? Ricochets off Thomas Lulawai's boot. Bang, straight into it. It goes for it, Lulawai, and it's a gift for Gidley in the end. This is Riddell. Riddell finds Lulawai, short ball from him to Alison Hansen. Hansen goes without it under the pressure of the challenge. Here comes Wellens. That's the zero tackle, just got over the advantage line. Well, they come up with a mistake from Hansen, but they were very slow again to react. Remember, way downfield, St. Helens nearly caught them out in their defensive quality. You've got to be a little bit careful of that. They were caught out early last week against Leeds. OK, they finally got them, their act together and sorted out as a convincing win against the Rhinos. But I must say they were being split open in and around the play the ball area, Wigan. Wilkin, that's a dab down the line looking for Francis Melly. It's a great kick. Phelps with work to do, goes to ground and does it as well. Wakefield ahead at Salford last time we heard. Eastman, all brilliantly picked out of the air by Wilkin. Long pass, then finds Gilmore. Gilmore finds Melly. Melly flicks the ball in field. Oh, Paniasin has missed it. And Clough has dropped it. I'm just wondering, Eddie, whether uh, our guest, Mr. Matteson, thinks that Mr. Ben Thaler might be in charge of one of his games soon. <laughs> He'll keep his own counsel about that, I'll tell you. I did say OK. <laughs> it's Clough again, the most experienced man on the St. Helens bench. He's only 21 years of age, but he is their only ever present this year, Paul Clough. He's played every game. Wilkin finds Graham, here is Eastmond. And Eastmond, the referee shouted at Thomas Lillewai. Keep out of the way, and Lillewai put a hand on him. Did all the hard work now they're under pressure. They are. This is Jake Emmett, and we haven't really seen a solo effort from Eastman as yet. Will we see it now? Well, here he is, Kyle Eastman, and he's looking for Price. It's that pattern of play that Paul Cullen picks out each and every week on Boots and All when we look at the tries and how they are scored. The looping runs, the looping runs from St. Helens involving Price and whoever he Move. is playing Don't alongside fix. at scrum half tonight it's Eastman well I tell you what Leon Price is furious about that he threw the dummy wanted the second phase no one was in support Flannery Ooh, he nearly twisted and lost the ball it. over the line surely he lost that he's lost, he's lost it here that's the turnover so that the standoff Leon Price is starting to just make his way through the defense Price is here good ball 
The ball was uh, spun into the arms of Matty Ashurst. Wigan defending for their lives here. Wilkins stabs the kick in, and it goes dead. Movement! Play. Emmett waits at dummy half. Did he move off the mark? Then yes, Wilkins could have been penalised for that. Not tackled, not Play tackled. Yes, he is tackled now. Paliasina had hold of his boot. This is Leon Price. And Leon Price gets the ball away brilliantly. It's Jake Emmett. And again, the Wigan defence stands firm on the last tackle now. And again, Leon Price is screaming at his mates, saying, where were you? Back it comes this way to Wilkin. Here is Gilmore. Gilmore goes inside one. The pass goes to ground. Still on the last. Knock on by Wilkin. Wigan survive another raid. Riddell is the dummy half. Joe Tompkins, short ball. Here is Flanagan. He's got Tompkins on his inside. That was touched. That was touched and knocked forward. That's a knock on. It's heading feet to Wigan. Chance gone and an important hand in there. Wellens. Oh, it's a great kick. Good length on it. Richards is underneath it. Well, maybe one more drive and then I'd, I'd give it some air. Wait. Ten Wait. seconds, it's going to go in the air here, off the boot of Lulawai, surely. There it is, over the top, another bad kick, this. Oh, Melly has made a mess of it. Oh, I think it's been touched down by Wellens. I think Wellens has rescued St. Helens oh, again. It's touch and go. Who gets there first? Oh, how do you spot that? Could be Tompkins, watch that left hand. It's 50-50, it is, it's, it's a try time. Confirming now by Phil Bentham. And Wigan, with a kick to come, just could take the lead at half-time. Leave that, there's two of them. And Wigan, after weathering such a storm, will leave the field with a two-point advantage at half-time. Here's James Graham. Of course, the biggest change in the rules was when they shifted this game for the summer. But uh, if ever we get a summer, it would be it would be pleasant. Well, it's quite obvious now that St. Helens are lacking the one advantage that they've had for years, and that's someone dynamic at the play the ball area. No Roby, no Cunningham, and that is the difference because no one is taken on. They've got the penalty. Right thing. But I think that, that, that Mick Potter's got to say to Kyle Eastman, get in there, dummy half, ask a few questions of this Wigan first and second marker. Well, it's Wilkin who takes the dummy half role here. And he will give it to Eastman. He will look and give it to Price. And back on the inside to Gidley. And an important tackle, low down by Riddell, finished off by Lunawai. And that was Wellens. This is Wilkin. And Wilkin saw a gap and has lost it. But St. Helens retain possession. Great work from Gilmore, it had to be under pressure. And Emmett is tiptoeing his way to the line. That's the... Sure, I heard the referee shout that as tackle number four, he did. And Eastman had to stretch for that! Eastman, is he over? Is he no, short? he's short. Just short of the line. Cameron Phelps got the body just to ricochet the ball, just in front of the line. Price, Wilkin, oh, there was nobody there, that's the turnover. There was a bit of pushing and shoving and argy-bargy on the line, though, Wait. from Wigan. It's handed over. It's Eastman, dabs the kick in, Kidley went for it. Knock on. First knock on, I think it was from Saints. Shakes his head to the appeals from St Helens players. That goes backwards. Gidley deliberately knocks that ball back. He's just a metre short on tackle number four. There's Lulawai. Lulawai slides the kick in. And Lulawai's kick goes to Price. He's got work to do now. Melly has brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. Well, the kick was a... Well, what I've been screaming to do for St. Helens. Run from Dummy Half. It's Wigan that are taking it. That's what they're doing. This is Gleeson. Gleason gets the pass away, Harrison Hansen is just held up by Melly. I don't know how. Wow, Paul Clough Paul added Dave. to the weight. Penalty to Wigan. Wellens furious. 
Well, he's, he's not happy because Ben Thayer, the official, allowed it the other way around in the uh, the first half. Wigan did exactly the same. Australia. There's no consistency to see there. Wigan have, have got their arms in the play of the ball twice earlier in the game, and then they get a penalty for that one. So that's what we get frustrated about. Lulawai, dummy half. He finds Mark Flanagan. Saints turn to defend their line now with what a, Bravely. What a big game Mark Flanagan's had. He's been everywhere, especially in defence. Helps to Joel Tompkins. Well, the feet are up. That's the way. That has Both been ends. fantastic, but I think, I think Nobby Tom, Tom, would be frustrated Tom. that they're up that end of the field and they're playing Two. dry weather football. I think there's 15 Two. minutes to go here and we're going to need to play the Two. ball up this end of the field and have the opportunity to do that. Great ball from Graham, that was. Lulawai read the script because he got well into the Tom. ground. Here goes Cunningham. Now it's Leon Price. Down he goes, tackle number four. Cunningham again, Graham. Another good tackle low down, Sam Tompkins, that's the last. Give it some height. Can Eastman do that? He's under pressure from Joel Tompkins. He has got height, but he's got too much length. Oh! Cameron Phelps is knocked on. Eastman, can St. Helens make him pay? Eastman, Eastman still. He was tackled first by Mossa. He was tackled then by Cameron Phelps. And Phelps has conceded a penalty. Now will Saints be tempted? They'll take the tap. But a veto away from the Wigan line. Cole is mounting. Here comes Graham. They have tapped it. Move! Cunningham scheming at dummy half. Fires the pass to Eastman. He's okay now. Leon Price. At all, but did he drop the ball backwards and have to touch down after a Wigan knock on? Well, look at that, it looks as being shot by someone from the crowd, blood streaming from the eye. Now that's all right, that's touched by a Wigan man. No, that's not backwards. This is a try. No, he knocks on. No try and scrum defense Wigan. Lulawai again. Oh, mistake from Joel Tompkins. Nelly has it for Saints. It's getting to that point where the nerves and the players are becoming very tired. Fatigue is setting in. Flannery now for St. Helens. Mossop stands firm. Down he goes. That's the first. Twinkle toes from Kyle Eastman. That's all having a bet on to win this win for Saints if they can get the ball to him. Drive forward is by Andrew Dixon. Anyone got a touch of oxygen for Mr. Stevenson here is uh, Eastman short pass from him now the Wigan defence is asked it, questions it. on their own line Price Graham drives it in still going Graham what an effort Wigan stand firm four gone two remaining this set of six what a bruiser this has been Price oh they've lost momentum now they'll regather it here is Wellens Slide the kick in, they say. I'm sure the referee shouted five and then changed the call. He said it's four. This is Richards. Oh, that's a big error by Ben Thaler. He's confused. But try telling that to Mick Potter if they lose this game. He will be far from impressed. Eastman, back it comes to Price. Here is Wellens. Wellens looking for the loop on the outside. It wasn't there. He has to take the tackle from Gleason. This is Leon Price. Here is Paul Clough. That's, five. That's the last tackle. Move. He's got it right this time. They'll play it quickly. Five. Cunningham will find Eastman. And Eastman will hoist the kick out wide. Here's a tester for Amos Roberts. Oh, he's lost it! Oh, oh the ball's up in the air! Sam Tompkins has just got the boot to it. Nice to go. 6 4 Wigan. Still there for winning by Saints. Here is Leon Price. Wide they go to Melly. Now he goes down on the last. The Wigan defensive effort tonight, no matter what happens in the next five minutes, has been heroic. Eastman stabs the kick into the in-goal area. Lulawai picks up. Lulawai just, I was going to say, just about gets out of trouble. He doesn't. Well, of all the players you want to pick to try to get... We're holding the breath. And all those supporters are as well.
That's a tremendous drop out again. Here comes Clough, though, on the charge for Saints. And here comes the defensive quality. Late charge by Salford, 24-30. Can St. Helens make a late charge here and win the game? You wouldn't bet against it, would you? Cunningham, Eastmond, Flannery! Wigan now go with what they've got for the last four minutes. That was their last substitution. It's Eastman. He spun away Eastman. Eastman for St. Helens. He's in. He's in. Momentum has taken him over. Kevin Eastman has won this match. For St. Helens with a kick to come. It'll be 8-6 in a moment when the try message comes up from Phil Bentham. Nothing moves here. Just the body. As soon as he hits the deck, he's moving. That's try time. That is T.R.Y. And Wallens, he hugs him as though he's got a £40,000 girlfriend. Wonderful stuff. It's movement, movement. Or does he push himself? As he pushed himself, but the momentum, surely. You've got to give this. As Kyle Eastman won the match for St. Helens. I think he has. What an effort from young Kyle Eastman. And they've got to wait until the last to put the kick in. Luluai. No, they're going for it now. It's sliced. Oh, they went backwards. And Gilmore to the rescue. 20 seconds and counting. Saints, it will be up the jumper. Take the tackle, hit the deck. That's what Wellens does. 15 to go. Listen to this crowd. They have done it, Phil, to so many teams over the years, haven't they? Well, they haven't. I think he wants to run down the clock. He's taken it over the side. That will be the end of the match. And what a match it's been. Kyle Eastman is 